I can increase the volume by sliding the cursor up on my ring like this and I can bring down the volume the same way. I can also skip songs by swiping right. I can hit record and then it'll record and then swipe back and then it'll stop recording. How cool is that? When you think of a robotic ring, you probably imagine this. Check out my ring. But this right here is the Avela Ring Pro, a smart ring that actually feels like the future we were promised. This little thing can control your music, videos, camera, even slide decks, all without touching your phone. And it tracks your health, sleep, heart rate, stress, and connects to your own personal AI coach and doctor inside the app. It's like if Apple, Fitbit, and Iron Man teamed up to make one tiny ring. Except it's real, and it's already here. Together we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and see exactly what it's all about. So if you guys want your very own, check out the ring down below in the description. And together we'll see, in fact, if this is deserved to be called the one ring to control it all. In terms of unboxing goes, it's quite simple. Everything's laid out, including user manual, a case which also acts as a charging base station, your ring of course, and lastly, a USB-A to USB-C cable. All right, so we're all set, ready to go. So let's open this up and we'll put it on our finger. Now, there is a trick to wear this. So if you actually look at it a little bit carefully, you'll see that there is a black dot and then you'll see a variety of different sensors. Now those sensors, which is the side right over here, has to be pointed towards you. So when you wear it, make sure it's like this. This is the correct orientation to wear it. And then you want the black top kind of facing towards you as that is gonna be our touch sensor. Now, before we go into the different kind of controls, we're gonna use the app here and kind of look at what is this particular ring can showcase in terms of health as well as activity. But this here is our main hub of our app. On the top here, it'll show today's date, it'll show vitality, which will show overall health of what's happening. So if you click on that, it'll give you a score based on all the different parts that it measures for the overall day. Now that it will be like a percentage, uh, but you can also break it down. So you have your activity, how many steps, calories, um, and then you have your sleep schedule. So this will show you in terms of how long you were sleeping for, as well as your efficiency. And then using all this data, it can go and communicate with you and kind of help you improve that. Now you have trends, so you can see how you are throughout the week. Uh, and then of course, choosing your focus. Now, uh, we can also click on these dots here on the top and hit test now, and then I can do my heart rate. So now it's measuring my heart rate as we speak. So 86, our blood oxygen level as well. So this is measuring that now. 99%, so that's great, but also workout. So you can also tell it that you're doing a workout. So based on what you're doing, it'll measure your steps, your running, uh, cycling, and things like that. All you have to do is hit that and then hit go, and then it'll start measuring it, and then it'll add that information in there as well. This is just kind of like the basic health aspects of the ring. So once you have all this data, what can you do with it? Well, you have Discover, where you can actually talk to these AI doctors. Think of it that way. So you have Dave, and then you also have another agent, which is Mira. So you can pick and choose, or you can talk to both. And then you can ask it questions in terms of like, how did my data look yesterday? Uh, I want to know more about, you know, my cardiovascular health. And then you can hit send, and then it will talk to you and kind of give you better feedback in terms of your overall health and kind of give you recommendations. Your cardiovascular metrics show an average daytime heart rate of 76 BPM and SpO2 levels between 98 to 99 percent. The activity score of 31 suggests room for increased movement. Your high stress level of 75 is worth addressing early. I recommend gradually increasing daily activity to improve cardiovascular health. So I love that aspect of it. So it's not like you're just getting the data, but it can also analyze it. And that's very important. Next up, we have zones. Uh, so zones here will give you less, more or less like articles in terms of how to go ahead and improve your diet, things like that. And then we have my ring. So uh, we have the capability to enable touch and gesture. So this will allow us to use our ring uh, beyond the basic necessities of just giving you data about your health. And this is where the fun part kind of comes out. So if you click on touch and gesture, this will enable it 
Um, and then when you do enable, you do want to go into your settings and then go under accessibility and then go to touch and then initiate assistive touch. So this will allow the ring to do its thing. So you can wake it up by simply uh, rubbing the ring like this. There you go, it says it's activated touchpad. So it does go into a sleep mode. So just keep that in mind. And right now we're in the music and photo mode. However, there's different modes as well. So we're wearing it on our left hand and right now we're in the music and photo mode. There's short video mode and then slide or ebook and then just how to use and they'll have more going forward. So now that we're in our music and photo, we'll just jump into music here. I can increase the volume by sliding the cursor up on my ring like this and I can bring down the volume the same way. I can also skip songs by swiping right or going back to songs by swiping left. I have a photo mode so if I go into my camera here so if I wanted to take like a selfie I can just simply click and it'll take it just like that. Same with the video I can hit record and then it'll record and then swipe back and then it'll stop recording. How cool is that? So you have the control of being able to take a picture recording and then stopping it simply by just sliding cursor up or sliding cursor down, vice versa. Next thing we have is our short video mode. So the way this works is all I have to do is swipe up and it'll go right there simultaneously. I can go down, ah, it's so cool. Okay, and then they also have a slide or ebook. All I have to do is kind of swipe. You can see right here what's going on. So I can like just swipe and I can change the pages and I can go back. They also have gesture operations. So this is a new feature that they're adding, uh, allowing you to program different gestures uh, where it can actually recognize based on that. So to show you kind of how it uses it. Okay. Aha! Palm side right, palm side right, <laughs> uh, flip. <laughs> I mean, all in all, it's actually pretty cool. So you can actually like send messages to that way. So if you go here, uh, like Rachel actually sent me a finger heart at me. So you could do that too. You can send a message um, to your friends and things like that. So overall, pretty darn cool. And yeah, I mean, it's actually really fun. All right, so after testing it for a few days, I've got to say the Avela Ring Pro isn't just a tracker. It's a command center for your day. I've worn it to work, workouts, even while editing. It's lightweight, comfortable, and the battery lasted me almost a week on one charge. And like most smart rings, this one actually does something. Gesture control, AI coaching, and of course, no subscription. If you wanna grab one while it's still on Kickstarter's early bird pricing, check out the link down below. So who wore it better? Clearly I did. <laughs> yeah, whatever, iron hand. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.